wonderful world of the internet. Welcome to Odd Duck Foundry. It's been a little bit since I've posted anything, and I've just been busy at work. Circumstances beyond my control. It's been a couple of months. I haven't done a lot of shop stuff. I haven't posted a lot of things either, but um, had an event yesterday, Friday, that was um, very post-worthy. Uh, I got a call from a friend and let me know that there was a gentleman locally who was selling a partially complete seven and a quarter inch gauge live steam locomotive. And my curiosity was piqued. So I went and took a look at it and well, I bought a new project. I'm not gonna say how much I spent on it, but it was a lot less than you'd think. And I'm pretty happy with the deal I got. And it wasn't just a seven and a quarter inch gauge live steam locomotive, it was a seven and a quarter inch gauge 440 American CP 173 Disney American. Oh my god, this thing is beautiful. And I don't have a tender for it. That's okay. I, I have a tender that I can use right here. I just got to do a little work to it. This will probably work. It uh, It's about the same era as that. So it would have, it belongs actually to my other project live steamer. But this thing makes my other basket case 240 live steam project look like it was built in the dark by a five-year-old with plans off the back of a matchbox. Workmanship on this is excellent. Very little wear whatsoever. There's hardly any wear on the drivers at all. And the story is, is that this was purchased by the gentleman I bought it from in Rochester, New York. At a yard sale. And it was an older gentleman who was building it or rebuilding it and shuffled off this mortal coil. So, his kids didn't know what to do with it, so they put it out at a yard sale, and he purchased it, brought it back here. And if I hadn't bought it, bought it, he was going to part it out on the internet. And that would have been just an absolute shame. And here's a, a cab of it. I mean, this is, this whole thing is bronze, brass. And look at this beautiful workmanship. Not only did it come with the steamer, the cab, it also came with all of this. Good God. A plethora of riches. He was either in the midst of building or rebuilding a boiler for it. There's the forms. And a lot of parts for the firebox area. Keyhole firebox. And right there. And outer wrapper. It looks like he was, you know, working on that. When it all ended. And I got another piece of copper for tube sheet for the front of the boiler. I do not have a barrel for it and I'm good God about to swallow my tongue trying to figure out how much that's going to cost to fix because it's worth fixing. I have a bell. These are very similar to the bells that I made a few years ago. Very, very similar, as a matter of fact. I got a whistle. Look at that, a little whistle. 
an injector. I've got two sets of couplers. I have three sets, actually. I have the firebox door. I think this is the ash pan. And we got our steam dome cover. We have our steam dome. And a sander. And it's functional. I'm pretty sure. Check that out. Cover does come off. Honest. It must be difficult today. And parts for the tender. And the PS Daily Resistance plans. I think I've got an entire set of original plans. Check these out. And I unrolled it. I haven't gone through them all. But these are, I believe, plans from 1954. So these are pretty original plans. So, again, I have acquired another unfinished project. But it's just one of those things I couldn't pass it by. I mean... When this is done, it is going to be worth probably five to ten times what I paid for it. So, and my grandkids may very well enjoy it. So, that's the uh, update from Odd Duck Foundry. Uh, things are starting to free up a little bit at work so i'm going to be getting out in the shop more i have projects that i need to get back to uh also known as the uh, alco trucks i am going to get back to it i promise that is the next priority this stuff is going to be boxed up and put away for a while because uh, it's going to take a while for me to source and acquire the piece of copper pipe that I'm going to need for the correct boiler size for this thing. But it is definitely worth doing at some point. Now, it also came with other various and assorted miscellaneous plans. Um, and I'll probably be announcing that. I might be selling one set of them because one set of them is for a little locomotive that I really have absolutely no interest in making. So I'll just probably sell that set of plans outright. Uh, probably won't be making copies because it's a friend's model plan. Um, it's old, but they still may be offering it, so, um, stay tuned, and I will show that at a later date. Thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. See you later. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm.